welcome to medicine handy points our topic for today discussion is pulmonary embolism and pregnancy so there are a lot of confusing points so we'll try to clarify those now a pregnant lady presents with shortness of breath tachycardia and hypoxia so our top differential in this case will be mostly a pulmonary embolism now we have to proceed uh, further how to deal with this situation so the first step which we do in tachycardia and shortness of breath we do a routine chest x-ray and ecg to, to rule out alternative causes now ecg and chest x-ray should be done and the chest x-ray should be done with the protective shield to prevent the radiation exposure to the patient now once uh, ECG and chest x-ray turn out to be normal, the next step is to do lower limb DVT scan if the suspicion of pulmonary embolism is high. If the DVT scan shows that there, there is a DVT in lower limb, so it is likely the DVT leading to pulmonary embolism. So just start anticoagulation and do not do anything further. So we stop here. But the drug which we can do give during pregnancy is low molecular weight heparin is the recommended drug. We cannot give warfarin which is contraindicated. However, if the DVT scans turn out to be negative and there is no DVT and the suspicion of pulmonary embolism is high, now we have to prove that there is a pulmonary embolism because we have to give anticoagulation for, for almost three to six months. So now we are left with two options, either do CT pulmonary angiogram or VQ scan. Now who to decide and are they safe in pregnancy or no? Uh, let's discuss this. CTPA is associated with breast cancer uh, because the breast tissue is sensitive to radiation during pregnancy. While VQ scan is associated with childhood malignancy. So now we are in a cage 22 situation. How to proceed? Uh, it now depends on upon the consultant decision and local protocols whether we go for ctpa or vq scan because both have some pros and uh, some disadvantages and some benefits now the question is are the d dimer helpful in the uh, in the pregnancy so the d dimer has no significance in pregnancy because they are already raised in pregnancy I hope you like the video and I hope I have clarified a lot of points. Uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel.